So um, I've come really for two reasons. Uh, one is that I run a small uh, queer film festival in London and I'm very interested in making connections with other film festival programmers around the world and seeing what other film festivals are doing. Um, and also because I'm studying queer film festivals for my PhD. So I'm partly here for a research project, um, but basically for the same reasons, to see how people are doing things, see what kind of films are shown, make connections, and, uh, and really sort of investigate the spaces uh, that people are using for queer film festivals. Um, I heard about Queer Cecilia from a conference that I went to in Manchester last year. Um, no, earlier this year, actually. And uh, there was a very interesting talk given by the director of um, Queer Cecilia, and, um, and it just sounded like a really great festival to come to. I think the space is incredible. Um, it's a really amazing combination of sort of, you know, obviously it's quite uh, it's quite slick, quite a sort of sophisticated space, but it also feels quite DIY at the same time. So I think it's a really nice combination um, of, you know, obviously it's a sort of cultural centre, a cultural institute, but it feels quite uh, like a creative artistic space as well. And, um, and I think it's really nice. It's, uh, it's very sociable, it's a very good sociable space as well. It's very easy to meet people, um, it feels very relaxed and uh, yeah, it feels like a good, sort of safe, interesting, creative queer space. So I run the Whatever DIY Film Festival. Uh, it's a very small queer film festival. Um, our main sort of um, our program is mostly very, very DIY amateur shorts. Um, we really wanted to fill that gap uh, of film festivals, within film festivals, um, and show sort of really amateur work alongside some more professional staff, but really sort of try and showcase the sort of that sort of very low budget DIY work, sort of um, emerging filmmakers, first time filmmakers. Um, and as we've gone on, we have started to show some sort of bigger budget stuff, but it's really important to us to sort of run that alongside, you know, the really short DIY stuff which makes up the kind of core program. Um, we tend to show uh, a lot of sort of film uh, by kind of trans filmmakers, a lot of queer women, um, some sort of, you know, stuff by queer guys, but not, you know, they don't submit as much to our festival, so it, it's... I think that we do sort of provide space for kind of the most marginalised filmmakers in our community to, uh, to have a space and show their film, I think. <laughs> well, I don't really know what the situation is like in Palermo, but in London and I know in other sort of cities like Berlin, um, we have a situation where rapid gentrification is sort of eradicating a lot of queer spaces and a lot of women's spaces and I feel very much, I mean particularly in London, we have lost so many queer spaces, so many women's spaces over the last 10 years and I really think that queer film festivals are starting to fill this gap, you know, um, they're a good sort of meeting space for the community, um, I think the fact that they tend to attract all uh, groups from the community and from you know outside the queer community or from outside the LGBT community as well I think is really important I think um, again I don't know what it's like here but in London the queer scene is still quite segregated you know you have sort of gay men here and sort of women here and there are very few spaces where you get lots of people mixing together and so the collective that the fest, so my festival is called Whatever DIY Film Festival and we're part of a wider queer collective called Whatever World. And I think that it's one of the few organisations that run spaces which really do attract people, you know, lots and lots of different types of people. And so I think that that is a really important aspect of queer film festivals is that they attract, you know, and I know particularly here as well, you attract a lot of heterosexual people as well. And I think that's actually really important and really uh, unusual. So I think they provide a really useful space uh, for people to meet and to see themselves on screen as well because people in our community still don't really see themselves on screen that much. This is 
it's amazing. <laughs> I did not expect to like it so much. I just think it's the most incredible city. It's so beautiful and people are so friendly and, um, and yeah, I just have had a really great time. And this festival in particular is so wonderful. You know, the program is great. Um, the talks, I believe, are great. Not being able to speak Italian is a bit of a problem, but <laughs> I've got a year to learn until the next one, so. <laughs>